Yes, guys, you know what time it is. It's your boy, David, at the Irish Hotspur, Ireland's number one Spurs fan, bringing you another weekend of Prem predictions with special guests, the guy that's always here, the guy that does the Premier League predictions with me every week, gives up his time. It's Charlie. How are you keeping, Charlie? Yeah, good, David. As always, thank you so much for having me on your channel. Um, I'm here and I had a good week last week. Hopefully, I can go even better this week and hopefully make my uh, make my way up the table. And same with you. Hopefully, you can um, progress as well. And um, yeah, I always enjoy these predictions. Always a good bit of fun. So yeah, um, thanks for having me on, David. No problem at all. Thanks very much for giving up your time. But look, we'll go straight into the leaderboard. Simon, um, Simon from Premier Hotspur TV. By the way, check out Premier Hotspur TV. He is... Now on top spot with 36 points, pulling seven points out of the bag last weekend. In second place, who was top last week, we have THFC Gaming on 35 points, pulling out six points at the weekend. Remaining in third, we have Kevin Murray on 33 points, pulling out six points at the weekend. We have in fourth, Paul Markey on 25 points, pulling out four points at the weekend. In fifth, we have Charlie with 24 points, pulling out six at the weekend. In sixth, we have Adam Fox with 25 points, pulling out 10 at the weekend. A great weekend for Adam Fox. Runa LB in seventh, who, may I add, got no points the previous week. With a great weekend last weekend, he really made up for pulling 10 points out of the bag. Something I can only dream with. And that puts him on 19, 19 points overall. Um, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So in eighth, it's myself, the host, the Irish Hotspur, the greatest man on the planet with 16 points, pulling out four at the weekend. And I replaced Wayne Bonner. In ninth, we have Wayne Bonner with 15 points, pulling out three at the weekend. In tenth, we have Lily White Lane with 14 points, only pulling out three points at the weekend. And guys, I want everyone to give a big welcome to Lisson Grove. I hope I got that right. He's a new. He has to join in late. He's willing to accept uh, starting off from scratch. And this guy pulled out a remarkable 10 points at the weekend. If he has a few more weekends like that, he could definitely make his way to the top very quickly. So there you go. Have it, guys. There's your um, there's the table. And make sure you know what to do for this weekend. Again, in the comment section, put your scores in below. And then at the end of the at the end of the week, I'll talk them up. And um, you know, ho hopefully um, the leaderboard changes because I'm sick of seeing Simon and THSE game and then Kevin Murray at the top. <laughs> as much as I love them, as much as I love the guys, you know, they've been there from day one. It's about time I replaced them. But anyway, we'll get straight into it, Charlie. First game kicks off the weekend is Manchester City versus West Ham. Um, look, I know West Ham beat us very disappointed. The Spanners, the Hammers, um, you know, the Scanners, whatever you want to call them. It doesn't matter. They're going to get absolutely spanked by City this weekend. Um, Pep, Pep is going to show David Moyes how to really manage a, a club. Um, so, look, I'm going to go City 2-0, Charlie. No, I'm, no, I'm going to go City big. I'm going to go 4-0 City. 4 I hate West Ham now. I yeah. hate them now, yeah. Yeah, they're pissed. Yeah, look, I agree. I think, um, yeah, West Ham, they beat us, and that was just such hard to take, considering they're, they're doing well this season, West Ham. But City, they're unbelievable. Man City are just unbelievable at the moment. I'm, I'm going to go for a 2-0 City win, I think. They'll deal, with, they'll deal with everything West Ham have to throw at them. I just think City's quality will come out at the end. And I think that it'll be one of them games where they just dominate the ball. And, um, and yeah, I yeah. think they'll get this one 2-0 City. So, yeah, I'm going 2-0 City. Yeah, yeah, not a bad prediction. Um, honestly, I hope City absolutely spanked them for what West Ham done to us. Yeah, I agree. Um, I hope they fall out European places as well because they don't deserve it and they're allergic to Europe. Moving on. We have um, West Brom versus Brighton. This is relegation battle written all over it. Um, I'm going to go 2-1 Brighton. 2-1 Brighton. I think they'll have enough to edge West Brom. I think West Brom are the poorest team in the league. Um, and I do think they'll struggle against Brighton. You know, Brighton play good football. The problem is they don't take enough of their chances. But for me, I think they will on this one, you know. I think they're scrapping for their lives. I think Brighton have more experience, so I'm going to go Brighton 2-1. Oh, of course, Brighton, they had a very sort of undeserved loss to Crystal Palace in their derby last week. I was so close to getting four points on that game because I said 1-1, but bloody Ben Teke had to ruin it for me um, in that one. Yeah. Um, I said 1-1 and I was literally seconds away from being spot on, but Ben Teke had to ruin it and, of course, ruin Brighton getting anything out of that game. So, look, in this one, West Brom, 
recently, uh, recently they did get a good point off Man United. They drew with Burnley last week. Well, I thought they should have really beaten Burnley last week, West Brom, actually. Pereira had a few chances in that one. So, look, I think Brighton were just one. I think they're going to get back to winning ways. I'm going to go 1-0 Brighton for this one. I think um, they'll edge this one. <laughs> yeah, not about card. The next game it brings us um, is Leeds versus Villa. I think this is um, built up to, to be a cracker of a game, to be honest with you. I really do. But, Charlie, do you want to take away this one first? Yeah, yeah, I'll go. So, the, the the main talking point for this game is no Jack Grealish for Aston Villa, who, of course, was mm. injured last week with everything that went on there. And, yeah, that's going to be a massive loss for them and massive loss. And Leeds, they got a win against Southampton last week. They're a bit hot and cold Leeds. They're sort of winning one week, losing the next week. But I think they'll get another win in this one. I think Villa without Grealish, I think they'll be a bit shell socks, um, shell shell shocked <laughs> so i think um i'm gonna go for a leeds win i'm, I'm gonna go for three one three one leeds three one leeds that's a big call yeah. look i do think villa lacking greenish it is a big loss but honestly i think they'll have enough to that look leeds defense is poor i think villa going forward will have enough to pull them apart i don't think there are because i'm gonna go three two villa three two villa I think, yeah i think it's going to be a crack over game look leeds can score goals you know they have that guy um Rafinha, you know, Marcelo. He's brilliant. He's brilliant, um, Rafinha. Look, Bamford, he can also net. But uh, honestly, I think I think Villa will edge it. But it's going to be a cracker for a game. Uh, moving on to the next game, honestly, um, you know, find something else to do with your Saturday for this game because it's going to be an absolute bore fest, snooze fest, you know what I mean? So if you have anything to do, make sure you time up for this game. It's Newcastle versus Wolves. Um, look, for me, you know, Wolves are on a good run, to be fair. Uh, Newcastle off the back of a, a 3-1 uh, drubbing against United. But you know what? Newcastle is a very hard place to get to go. St. James is a hard place to go. It notoriously is, notoriously is to get points. I don't think there's going to be many goals. I think this has nil all written over. I'm going to go nil all. No, no. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go one-one. I think, uh, as I said, Wolves they've sort of revitalised themselves lately. Newcastle, who yeah, they, they've been losing recently, but they seem to play. They've got St. Maximum back. It was a big boost for them. Mm. And they've been playing a, a, They've been playing um, better football lately. I thought against United, they were the better team in that first half for me. But I'm going to go 1-1 in this one. I'm going to sit on the fence. So, yeah, one all. Oh, yeah. I, well, I was thinking 1-1, but, you know, I said I'd go nil all. I don't, I don't want to be caught out. Um, look, the next game, it's a London derby. It's um, Palace versus Fulham. You know, Palace off the back of um, a very boisterous um, late last minute winner, Benteke against Brighton oh, in the derby. Ruined my points. Um, you know, he took the points. He took the uh, points away from me, Benteke. Yeah, yeah. Bloody Benteke. Yeah. He took the points away from a few people, actually. Um, but you know what? Sky Park is men, they're trucking along nicely. Um, uh, I think it's hard to look past Palace on this one. And I'm going to go Palace 2 1 here. Two no, 2-0 two Palace. 2-0. Palace. I fancy Palace I mean, to keep clean feet and I think they have more than enough in attack to break Fulham down and beat them. That's an interesting one. I think it. I think Fulham, I've been quite impressed with Fulham. They're only three points um, from safety, to be honest. Scott, Scotty Parker doing a very, very good job over there at Fulham. And um, I'm going to go, I think I think this one will be a draw. I think Palace, I'm not sure if Zaha's back. Um, look, I think this one will be a draw. I'm going to go 1-1 one, one, uh, in this one. Yeah, not a bad shout. Look, it's it's look, it's not going to be a great watch. You know what no, I mean? No. Because honestly, it's it's not going to be a great watch. But that brings me on to the next game over the weekend. And um, look, it's um, you know, Europe. It's European failures versus Gunnosaurus, which is Leicester versus Arsenal. Some people told me Brendan Rodgers would come. Um, you know, they want him at Tottenham, but I don't want him at Tottenham if you can't beat Slavia Prague. Honestly. You know, they're shit, honestly. Um, Gunnosaurus, you know, they were lucky in Europe during the week. Very, very lucky, may I add. Um, they're off the back of a... Look, they, they played well against City, but still lost. You know, Leicester off the back of a good win against Aston Villa. And you know what? Fardy loves a goal against Arsenal. He, oh, he loves does. a goal against <laughs> Arsenal. And I'm going to go Palace, or I'm going to go Leicester. I'm going to go Leicester 3-1. Three, three, I do one. think they're going to be hurting after Europe. I think they're going to go out and try and send out a message. 
Um, and look, everyone knows I hate Arsenal, everyone knows my feelings on them. You know, Kieran Tiny and um, Bobo the Clown at centre back, <laughs> you know, with the with the fraudster uh, Mikel Pulis in, in, in charge. <laughs> um, so, look, I honestly do think Leicester to turn it around. They were embarrassed by Slavia Prague um, last night, which is which is excellent, may I add, because it's one, 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 one tough team out of the Europa League. And I'm going to go Leicester 3 1. Oh, I'm. I think yeah. I think Leicester. They've sort of had that bad night. I think they're going to show a reaction. I think obviously they recently beat Liverpool. They got a good win against Villa last week. So overall, apart from that Slavia Prague game, they're on good form. They're I think second or third in the table, and they're doing well. So I think I think Arsenal. I think they'll beat Arsenal in this one. I think I'm going to go Leicester to win two 0 I think um, yeah, they'll they'll show yeah. a reaction, and I think they'll get back to winning ways um, in this one um, with Vardy and um, without doubt getting on the score sheet. So yeah, I'm I'm going to go two 0 Leicester. Yeah, 100%. Not a bad shout. I was thinking 2 nil, but I think Arsenal might score. So I went 3 1. I went big. I do think Leicester will win by two goals. But you know what? That brings us on. It's time for the biggest game of the weekend. It's the mighty Tottenham Hotspurs. Oh, well. So Jose Mourinho versus Little Burnley with the ginger Homer Simpson in charge. <laughs> I actually, do you know what I mean? See that, Chris Wood? Well, I need some wood for my fire, so I'm going to snap it in half <laughs> and use it for my fire. I do expect us to beat them. I expect us to completely turn the, the Premier League around now um, with this game going forward with some nice fixtures. For me, I'm going to go big. I think I think we could keep a clean sheet. I think, you know, look, they're going to be um, you know, difficult to handle from crosses and set pieces because of the oh, size God. of them. But, you know, they're not great at playing in behind us, so in a way that kind of will help our defence. So you know what? I'm gonna go Tottenham three 0 I'm gonna go. I want to beat that ginger Homer Simpson. I really do. So I'm gonna go Spurs three 0 Let's go! Come on! That's a good shout. Look, of course, these next games starting tomorrow, uh, games that have been rumored to sort of determine Jose Mourinho's stance at the club. I think, as I said, it's so important we just get a win in this game because just to stop the rot and just sort of go, hopefully, build some momentum now. And like, it's just. It's just been rotten, rotten from top to bottom at this club. Of course, we did get the win against Wolfsburger in midweek, so that sort of brightened things up a bit. But in terms of the Premier League, we're still a, we're still a disaster. We're still an absolute. But I expect us to come away with three points in this one. There's no excuses whatsoever um, in this one. Look, Burnley. They're doing well this season. They're actually on good form lately, Burnley. They've got a 3 0 win at Palace. They've got a couple of decent draws and stuff. So they're, they're, they're doing well, Burnley, considering where they were at the start of the season. They've really turned things around. And Sean Dyche, I, I really like him as a manager, Sean Dyche. I think he's doing what he's done at Burnley has been excellent. It really has with the resources that he's got over there in um, Burnley. So I, I think I, I'm going to go 2 0 Tottenham. I, I just. I just fully expect us to get back to winning ways. And as I said, with all due respect to Burnley, it's no excuses whatsoever. We have to get yeah. back, show a reaction, show the players, show that they're still playing for him, Jose. And look, I think it could be tough at times because we, we all know exactly how Burnley are going to play. We all, we know we know yeah, exactly they're, what they're, they're going to do. That's, that's what to do. Well, they're going to they're going to they're going to go four four two. Two banks of four, not giving us any space and try and hit us from set pieces, which we know is a very big weakness for us. So, But I'm going to go 2-0. I think I fully expect to see a reaction, considering if Gareth Bale comes in the starting lineup, I think that will give us a boost. Uh, of course, with Kane and Son being rested in midweek, I think that gives us um, more of a boost as well. So I'm going to go 2-0. I think um, we could get... I think I am. I'm confident we'll get a win in this one, um, finally. So, yeah, 2-0. Yeah, no, look, it's going to be easy. You know, Burnley, all they do is play one way, a big long ball up to Chris Wood, see what they can get off it. Hopefully we marshal them, marshal them um, correctly. Hopefully the defenders do the job. And I see no problems us winning. Of course, but, um, I, I'd hope to see Delhi start. I hope to see Bale start. I think they deserve it. And, yeah. um, you know, honestly... I think we're in for a good weekend this weekend, lad. Fingers crossed. And you know what I mean? These come next fixtures we got... Come back we got and call Burnley. once we beat them. <laughs> no, as I said, these next fixtures are just massive. Before the next three, before the North London derby, they're just huge to just try and give us any hope of salvaging something in the Premier League this season. And, and it yeah, starts no, we'll on see, Sunday. We'll we'll win all of them and, and finish top four, no problems. Um, <laughs> you know, we move on to Thomas the Tank Engine and Teeny Weenie, um, <laughs> which is Chelsea versus um, you know um, Sheffield United. Or is, is it? it Sheffield? Oh no, Manchester United. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Manchester United. Yeah, Manchester United. This is going to be a good game. Um, it's going to be a tight game. Um, 
look, Ole Gunnar Shoeshiner, you know, him and his club, they're on a bit of a roll. The shoes are shined. But hopefully Chelsea can put a scuff on them, lad, and give Ali more work to do on shining them shoes. Um, I'm going to go 1 1. I do think it's going to be a draw. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to agree. I'm going to go 0 0. I think um, we saw the game at Old Trafford was 0-0. Yeah. Um, and we've seen a lot of big games this season be 0-0. Be and just the way Chelsea plays, sort of possession, popping the ball around with not um, a lot of um, pen pen penetration. And um, Man United, um, as I said, 0-0 um, against Sociedad of the week. So I think it will be a draw. I'm going to go 0-0. I think it will be a very tight game. I think um, both sides will sort of try and like nullify each other. And I think that's what will happen. So I'm going to go 0-0 um, for this one. Yeah, and I, I I think this is just a prediction. I think this game is going to be the downfall of the United season. I think it's going to unravel Ooh. from here on out. Ooh. And that's just my thought. You know, look, you know, United fans, you can come on, you can cry, put whatever you want in the comment section. But at the end of the day, you have a shoe shiner in charge. So <laughs> anyway, and um, moving on to the next game, it's Sheffield United versus Liverpool, the last game on Sunday. Look, Sheffield United, as much as you know, they try. They, they're, they're just not getting the results. They're not the same team they were last year. They're not too hard to beat anymore. For me, look, you know, there's no better game for Liverpool to turn around their, their, their run of form. It's been dismal. I'm going to go Liverpool 2 0. I'm going to go Liverpool 2 0 to make this. 2 0. Oh, I'm going to go. Um, hmm, this is an interesting one. Yeah, I, I can I can only see Liverpool getting back to winning ways, of, of course, after losing the Merseyside derby. Um, I think. I think they're going to win 2 0, Liverpool. I'm going to go agree with you. I'm going to go 2 0. I think, um, yeah, they'll, they'll get a win in this one. Yeah, yeah. Although I do hope they don't because everyone knows I really do hate them. Oh, yeah, I agree. I'd, oh, I'd, love, I'd love nothing yeah. better if David McGoldrick can finally find the net, smash one in, and, you know, Chris <laughs> Wilde go, abs Wild go absolutely wild on them. That'd be <laughs> perfect. Um, and, of course, look, Liverpool, you know, first I do want to say is, um, you know, my. my um, my heart goes out to Alisson. You know, losing a parent, it's it, it's mm. never easy. Um, you know what I mean? Um, if he features, I hope he has a good game. I really do because it'd be great for him mentally. Um, I just wanted to have my peace on that. No matter how much I hate Liverpool, you know, mm. there's there's certain things you can put aside. Um, like like for this occasion, you can put your head aside yeah, and hopefully that player does well and pulls through. And then that brings us on to the last game of the weekend. Of course, it's a Monday night fixture. It's them shite bags, everything. Versus Southampton, um, you know, look, Everton are on a good run. They'll be buying off the Merseyside Derby um, win. You know, people are probably expecting to beat Southampton, but Southampton are also off the back of a good draw against Chelsea, which no one expected. Well, they did get Me, a three 0 defeat Southampton. at Leeds on Wednesday. They lost three 0 to Leeds. They're on terrible form, Southampton, at the moment. They really are. <laughs> um, yeah, but I'm going to go one one. I'm going to go one one. Ooh. Yeah, uh, look, Everton will have to try and drop points at some stage, and uh, hopefully this is the game. We're yeah. going to win this weekend. Everton are going to drop points. Other teams are going to go drop points. It's going to be a great weekend. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm going to agree. Actually, I'm going to go one-one as well. I think Everton. We've seen Everton seem to do this weird thing where against the big teams they'll pull out a result, but then they'll go and lose to Fulham. Like they lost two 0 to Fulham recently, and then go and beat Liverpool. So I think that, I think it will be a draw in this one. I think Southampton will get another draw. Of course, they've been dreadful Southampton lately. Um, which is strange considering the way they started the season. So I think it will be 1-1 in this one. I think Everton will kind of be brought back down to earth in a way, and I think um, it will be a draw um, in this one. So 1-1. One, one. Yeah, I hope so. And uh, thank you. Look, there there you have it. There's all the our, our, our score predictions and the fixtures for the weekend. Everyone that's been playing, you know exactly what you need to do. Get your um, results into the comment section below. Everyone else that tunes in, make sure you smash a like, make sure you smash a subscribe. Big thank you to Charlie for giving up his time. Um, you know what I mean? Everyone get off to Charlie THSC. Check it out. Absolutely brilliant content over there. So make sure you get over there. Check it out. The guy's a legend. But look, we're going to roll on. We're going to smash that ginger Homer Simpson. We're going to get three points <laughs> this weekend. Preview will be coming out tomorrow. A review will be coming out Sunday. So in Jaws we trust. Come on, Come on you Spurs. Spurs.